Hey, welcome YouTubers, welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster, I'm your host, Monty, and, and on the episode 9 of Project Nano Reef. Uh, I want to begin the video by wishing everybody a happy new year, hopefully you guys had a good new year, hopefully 2017 was very good for you guys as far as reefing goes, and... I wish you guys all the best in 2018 because uh, 2018 is going to be a great year in, when it, in terms of reefing. Now let's get jump down to the main topic of today's episode. Um, topic of today's episode is going to be um, the tank reset and cooking live rock. So those of you that are following this channel and following um, the, this Project Nano Reef episodes from episode 8 you would have you would have noticed um that my live rocks my aquascape everything is gone the tank is looking bare there's nothing in it except for my naked clown um most of you guys are probably wondering what the hell happened and a few of you may have taken an educated guess already that i am cooking my live rocks and we'll get to the point as to why I'm cooking my live rocks. So let's just recap a little. On episode 8, I talked about the algae problem I was having in, on this new nano tank that I set up a couple of months ago. And that was back in August of 2017, end of August of 2017. At that point, the tank was about three months established already. Um, now, I had algae problem on this tank from the beginning. When I first first started the project, when it was originally a 10 gallon tank, um, I was have, I had some bubble algae problem, which after I converted switched over to this big tank, the bubble algae problem wasn't there. However, soon after I started having turf algae issues on my rocks, um, and to the point it was getting out of control, and it did get out of control. Um, I on episode eight. I discussed that I was going to be um, using some chemical, dosing chemicals to, you know, loosen the algae up. I was going to get some new cleanup crews and also obviously doing manual water change and manual removal of the algaes. Now, it's been a long time. It's been about five months since that video. And the reason I haven't uploaded a new video because I've been very busy with some personal things in my life as well as um, doing all those things that I mentioned to you guys in episode eight. So... I did get new cleaner cleanup crews. I was using uh, the a dosing chemical. We'll talk about that later in the video. And I was doing the weekly water change and manual removal of the algae. But the problem was I was not able to keep up with the turf algae that was growing in this tank. No matter what I was doing, I could not get a get a hold of the turf algae problem. And and I couldn't figure out what the problem exactly was, and I wasn't it's not, not like I was feeding a lot on this tank. Uh, nutrient nutrient levels were low. Um, now low is a you know when reefers say low, some reefers low is other reefers high. My low was my phosphates were were around 0 0.03, which is pretty low, and I was feeding very minimal in this tank since I only had two fishes in it at that time. Uh, I had the auto feeder and I had a setup just to draw very little pellets every uh, once a day. And you know, as you guys know, I have a protein skimmer, I have a sump refugium, I have a phosband reactor as well. So I had all the equipments, but for some reason, I just couldn't, uh, you know, win the battle against the turf algae problem. So what I was doing was I was dosing, um, I was dosing some chemicals to you know kill the algae or loosen it at least and i was doing the water chains and everything but i couldn't couldn't get a grasp on it and the uh, algae was outgrowing my refugium to the point um my kato inside my some refugium was dying and now part of the reason why i blame my kato's dying is probably has to do with the the liquid you know chemical i was dosing in the tank um I don't think the chemical was strong enough to kill the um, the turf algae. Matter of fact, it probably end up killing my Kato. That's just a theory that I have. But regardless of that, at the towards the end of November and the beginning of December, I came to a realization that I might have to take some drastic measures uh, to fight this uh, algae problem. So I dug around, looked at some videos on YouTube, 
found a great video done by Mark from Me Loves Reef. He did a video on cooking live rock. Uh, it was a great video for those of you that, that are thinking about cooking your live rock. So I suggest you guys go and watch that video. So I watched that video and took his note, uh, advice, and I started cooking my live rock. I took all the rocks out from the display tank, put them in a bucket, and they have been cooking since end of December till right now. And they will be cooking for the next couple of months until all the algaes are gone from the rocks. Um, before I want to make sure there's no algae on my live rock before I put it back in, the, in this tank. So until then, this is how the tank is going to look like. So let's talk about that chemical that I was dosing. Now, when I made episode 8, I did a couple of research on YouTube and I found out, I saw a video done by George, Coral Fish Guy 12. Um, he did a video on algae and he highlighted a product. Uh, the product is called Continuum Aquatics Bacter Clean M. Now I'm going to show you guys the bottle uh, right now. Uh, I'm going to show you the bottle, what it looks like for those of you that are looking into it. So that's the bottle. I got it from Marine Depot. Um, that's the 500 ml bottle. And I followed the instruction through and through, dose, you know, the suggested amount based on my tank size daily for about two months. That's how long this bottle lasted me, two months. And during that time, I did not have any success whatsoever in removing the algae. Um, now, probably the reason why it didn't work because this is probably most likely f to loosen algae. Um, so to make it easier for you to remove by scrubbing it or you know, you know, pulling it out. But it had no, almost literally no effect on the turf algae. The turf algae was so strong, even after using this chemical, I had to spend an hour and a half before each water change to, you know, pinch out as much as I could. Um, it was not enough. I was not able to keep up with the algae growth in this tank. And the algae got so bad, it killed all the corals in the tank. Um, it just overgrew everything in the tank. It was a mess. So I had to take a drastic measure. I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything else. So I had to press the reset button and start cooking my live rock. Now a lot of you are probably guessing, you know, what's cooking live rock? Are you putting in a bucket of water and boiling the rocks? Kill the algae in it? No, that's not how it works. Um, cooking live rock is... Putting your live rock in a dark environment, in a salt water dark environment for months and to kill the algae but not kill the beneficial bacteria. There are other ways of removing algae from your water or from your rock surface. You can bleach it, you can put it in an acid bath, but if you do that, you're going to start from scratch again. That means you're going to kill all your beneficial bacteria that's grown in those rocks, those live rocks. You don't want to do that. Now, I mean, the only time I would recommend you doing it is if you purchase used rocks from somebody else and you want to get a fresh start on that rock so you don't want any critters or any unwanted pests in or algae on those rocks. So that's one I recommend. Giving it an acid bath or bleaching it or whatever, a vinegar bath or whatever you want to do. Um, but if it's your own rock and you're having the algae problem like I am, cooking it properly is going to be your best solution. This way you get rid of the algae but you keep the beneficial bacteria that's already grown in it. Um, so that's exactly what I have been doing since end of December um, till now. Um, there hasn't been any progress yet. There's still a lot of algae on those rocks that'll take some time um, to come off and I have to you know manually remove those algae as they start dying off. So that's what I'm waiting for right now. It's still early in the process for all the algae to start dying out. It'll take a couple of like a month or so before they actually start dying. Because they are turf algae, they're very strong. They're not like a regular hair algae or anything. Um, so that's it's gonna take some time. I will show you guys um, the setup I, I'm doing for the cooking of the live rocks. I'll show you guys toward the end of the video. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Uh, and catch you guys up on what's been happening on this tank. I did not forget about this project. I've been really preoccupied with some personal matter and basically, you know, trying to 
play catch up with the algae problem on my tank. So that's it. I just this video. I just, all I want to talk to you guys about is what's going on with this tank and what's going to happen going down the road. Um, as far as livestock go in this tank, right now there's only one uh, naked clownfish in the tank, as you see. I gave him a little PVC tubing for his home since I removed all the rocks, and he seems to like it. He goes in there, you know, he hides in there. What I'll probably do in the future is I'm probably going to add a rose bubble tip anemone, and so he can start getting acclimated to the rose bubble tip, and maybe he'll host it if he's in a good mood. And I'm probably not going to add any more, you know, fishes in this tank until... I'm ready to stock the tank again with corals and the live rocks. So it'll probably stay this way. I might add some corals that does not require to be glued or plugged into the live rock. So most likely I'll be putting in corals that belong in the sand substrate. Uh, so corals such as, you know, green star polyps. I might get a small rock and put it or put the green star polyps on those. Um, I might get a bubble coral in there, you know, stuff, corals that belong in the sand substrate. That doesn't need a lot of light, a lot of flow. So that's what I might do in the meantime, just so I have something to look at. Because right now the tank is just blank, you know. It's not really fun looking at it. Uh, I know you, I'm probably boring you guys just showing you this tank for the for the past 10-15 minutes, but you know it's a, it's a necessary step that I had to take. Uh, you know I regret to having to press this uh, you know reset button on it, but you know I want I wanted to it was getting out of out of control and I had to do something. Um, so that's all. That's it, guys. I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on. And for those of you that, that have questions, if you're having a similar problem as I am, uh, put it in the comment section below. I will try to answer your questions as best as I can. But what I would highly recommend is you go watch Mark's video on cooking live rock if you want to cook your live rocks like I am. It's a great video. You know, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to put a link under the description to that video so you guys can go watch it. Um, now, as far as that, as far as the dosing chemical, the Bacter Clean M, I mean, I know it didn't work for me, but just because it doesn't work for me in my situation doesn't mean it's not a good product. I'm sure um, a lot of people have success with it. It goes by the situation, so you just have to play it, you know, as it goes. Um, so don't be discouraged because I said it didn't work. Doesn't mean it's not going to work for anybody. It goes by your situation. Um, so that said, if you haven't, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed, uh, hit the subscribe button. I will be uploading more videos. 2018, I'm going to be more proactive in, with my videos. I know, I know, in the past, I. You know, upload videos once every couple of months, but in 2018, I plan on being more proactive on this channel. There will be a lot more videos, a lot more product reviews. I am uh, working on a, on a collaboration with some sponsors, so if those things fall through, everything works out, you're going to see a lot more product reviews and more videos and everything. But I will keep you guys posted on what's going on with this tank. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, right now, what I want to do is show you guys, um, show you guys the setup that I'm doing for the cooking of my live rock. So let's go down. Uh, let's go take a look at the setup I'm doing. So it's uh, I got this bucket. Uh, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna just flip to that bucket in a couple of seconds. I got the bucket from Home Depot. It's um, 27 gallon. 27 gallon bucket so let's go ahead and take a look at it so you guys can see it as well so here's the bucket it's a brute type bucket rubber bucket dark black I have it situated right next to my tank so everything is easier you know for the water changes and everything so I am changing water on it every two weeks so let's take a look inside as you can see there are my live rocks still got a lot a lot a lot of algae in it they're sitting in salt water and there's, I got a power head in there and a heater in there as well, uh, just to keep the water circulated. And I'm doing water changes on it every two, three weeks. And every time I'm going to do it, I'm going to start trying to scrub off these algaes and as they die off. So that's going to be the process for the next month or so, or two, or maybe even three months, because I'm going to be full foolproof this time. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching, and happy reefing, guys.